Hi everyone, so I'm going to start the reading out with uh, Bibliomancy. This is a book I just bought on Amazon, and then I'm going to get into the Oracle card reading. So you guys are really ascending very quickly. You guys are really in your power right now. Um, the last reading I did, I was getting that there's two X's that are going to be popping up, or they have popped up, or maybe one of them has. A lot of you are going to be getting communication out of the blue, and some of you might be feeling this and channeling this already and kind of getting that sense that you know, that things are changing for you, especially over the next couple months, few months, like you, you can just sense that you're on the, the brink of something huge. Like you can, you can feel that energy starting to finally move for you. You're coming out of stagnant energy. Um, so yeah, I was getting that two X's might be popping up. You might have new love rushing in as well. Um, you know, love is just manifesting practically overnight. Cause I think a lot of you, had a block like you've been manifesting things for maybe months probably years for a lot of you and you've been wondering why your manifestations just aren't taking place um physically and to the extent that they should be but you've had that block and i think a lot of you just removed it you just went through some kind of transformation um some kind of energy shift maybe standing up to yourself standing up for yourself um i said standing up to yourself so yeah maybe maybe some of you are changing your patterns maybe subconscious patterns or self-doubt things like that i just get the energy that things are really um shifting for you you're, you're changing your life a lot right now and you can kind of feel this energy so you might be getting some unexpected messages from um exes and also meeting someone new if you have not met them yet already i do feel that energy so let's get into the book reading really quick and then i will pull some cards and see what the cards want to say while drowning in our memories i have learned the, that viewing the rays of the sun from beneath the waves is a lot like looking into a kaleidoscope it is a breathtakingly beautiful distortion and for that i will always choose to stay so think about that the sun from beneath the rays is a lot like looking in. It's a beautiful, it's a breath, breathtakingly beautiful distortion. So one of you is romanticizing this connection with the ex. Either you're romanticizing it or they're romanticizing it. I think for some, this could be an ex that took you for granted. And now that you're gone and you've, you're ascending, you're more powerful than you were before. You're stronger than you were before. You've grown a lot. You're finally coming out of stagnant energy. You're just, you're up leveling so quickly. And this person feels that energy. They feel like they just don't have you anymore, you know? Like they just, they don't, this visual might mean something to some of you as well, but it's like they just, they don't have you on hold like they used to. They feel that energy shift. And you're going to have more people feeling that because like I said, a lot of you feel this energy shift. So it's like, you're going to, like your exes are going to come back, but you're not going to want them back. Like you've outgrown a lot of them. You're still outgrowing them more and more each day. So it's like, you're going to get these messages and, you know, months or years ago, you would have loved that. You were like all about that. You, you wanted that, but you're not going to resonate with the energy anymore. You're just going to be like, no, I'm good. Like, but you're going to get that closure. You're going to get that justice, but it's, it's not going to mean as much as you thought it was going to mean. Cause you've, you're already kind of done with them. Um, you're just, you, you're just not in that energy anymore. Their, their energy, their toxic energy does not resonate with you on a soul level anymore. Let's get one more message. I think both of these are messages. So let's see. God knows that I could hate you right now. And I'll, I'll do the Oracle reading right after this. God, God knows that I could hate you right now for having me fall like never before for making me desire you the, ne the way that I desire my next very breath. And worse, for leaving me to find my own way out of this prerogatory hell, otherwise known as life without you. And yet still with all the pain that has taken residence inside of me, there is always room left for these three wor words. I love you. It says three worlds, actually. That's interesting. But um, yeah, it feels like someone that really took you for granted. And it's like you're, you wanted it at the time, but now you're going to start, you either have or you're about to start looking back and just thanking your spirit guides that you did not get what you thought you wanted. You're going to be so glad that you did not end up with that person that at the time you thought was the one for you. But now they're thinking you're the one because they're feeling this energy shift. Like they're, they're like, your spirit guides are just protecting you too. Like they're just blocking these people from, from touching your energy. They're just not letting them anymore. Cause you're, 
Because you're conscious. I think a lot of you are consciously saying it to your spirit guides too. You're saying, you know what? I'm done with these people. I'm done with the people that are dragging me down, that didn't want me, that ghosted me, that abused me, whatever else. And so your spirit guides are listening to you and they're just blocking them from touching your energy. And your person's not used to that. They're used to being able to tap into your energy and pull you back in and drain you. And it's like something shifted where now they can't. Um, they, they would have been enough for me before knowing you, before learning that there is more substance to be found in love. And now in knowing this, I would spend 90 years alone if it meant spending my very last with you. Yeah, I'm getting the major energy of someone that took you for granted, really like kicking themselves right now, but too little too late. Like you're, you're going to be manifesting. So you've either manifested or you're going to manifest someone new or possibly someone from the past that was good for you. Like like a positive influence, but maybe it was just the right person, but the wrong timing, but you're going to date someone that's not, um, anything like your exes, like your type is changing. Like you're the, you know, the type of person that you're attracted to that you want in your life. It's, it's changed and it's, it's changing more every day. It's really a positive thing, but let's see what the cards have to say. And if this is your story, yeah, new love faded encounter. And if this is your story and you would like a a paid private reading just send me an email my email is right below in the description box new love faded encounter nostalgia longing yeah it's almost like someone's <laughs> someone's longing for you they're long like they're missing you and you're not even you're not even noticing it you're not you know like you're not even looking at them you're looking at this new person instead you're looking at this new love this this faded encounter that might come in kind of unexpectedly sex seduction fear of commitment spying yeah someone so someone wants to try to come back around and they I mean I feel like they do love you in their own toxic way but like they used sex to like protect themselves from getting in too deep if that makes sense like they made it more sexual than it needed to be or they there's just like this energy of putting on a front um fear of commitment because of their fear of commitment so it's like they're spying and they're wanting you back. But the truth is, if they had you back, they'd, they'd eventually go back to that same cycle out of their fear of commitment. So they're just kind of spying. It's like they can't offer you anything. So they're spying and they're watching and they know they lost you. But they're they're too much of a coward to step up and fight for you. And they, you might you might still get a message from them, though. I do feel like a lot of them are still going to message. But it's like you're just not going to want it. You're just going to be like, that's all you got. Like you're just it's not going to it's not resonating with you anymore is what I'm feeling. Yeah, and this this new love, I feel like this is it's just not your usual type. I feel like this is someone you might not have been attracted to a couple years ago or even a year ago. It's like you've changed so much, so now you're in this energy where you can accept this kind of love. You can accept, you know, mutual love. You can accept something that's not dramatic and chaotic and, you know, toxic. You can accept someone spoiling you and someone wanting you like this person will new love faded encounter yeah so this new love is a potential life partner is what i'm getting and like i said it could be someone from the past coming back around as well but it'd be someone that wasn't toxic is what i'm getting it's not someone that's like your usual type divine intervention synchronicity and your spirit guides are leading this they're making this happen Third party distraction, karmic partner, shyness, fear of rejection. So your spirit guys, they're like, there's some minor obstacles here, but your spirit guys are getting through it. Like some of them were, have just ended a karmic cycle or you've just ended a karmic cycle, but your spirit guides are leading you through it. And some of them are going to be afraid of rejection. Like this love is like, it's like really unexpected, I think. It reminds me of that movie, Goodwill Hunting. Um, where Robin Williams is talking to Matt Damon about, I don't know if you guys saw that movie, but he's talking to him about how he met his wife and how, like, I think he was supposed to go to some like major baseball game with his friends or something. And he saw her at a bar and he just 
canceled the game. He just like knew. You guys should look up that scene. It's a really sweet scene, but he gets all emotional and he's talking to him about it and telling him like, you know, like when you know, you know, like you cancel what you're going to. You you drop what you're doing. You change your plans like you when this kind of love comes in. Um, there's there's no controlling it. You know what I mean? Like they might be moving towards you. You might be moving towards them. There's there's no like you're you're thrown into the unknown practically overnight. It's it's not something that you can predict. It's something that just comes in and you just find yourself in that energy. You find yourself packing your bags and moving. You find yourself traveling to another country. You find yourself like in this energy where you're just things have changed. Like you just you just find yourself there. There's no way to predict it. There's no way to control it. It's just it's just going to happen. Um, but the divine is leading you guys through the, through these minor obstacles, like fear of rejection is one of them. And if you get the nudge to like ask someone out, I would say do it like, but you know, full disclaimer, I'm not taking responsibility for what you do or don't do. It's ultimately up to you. So you got to use your own intuition, but some of you, it's like either they're going to be scared or you're going to be scared. You're going to be like, is this real? Like, is this, what is this? Like, um, so if you get that intuitive nudge, you know, I would say go for it, like go for what you're feeling. What other stories or what other, other messages I should say do we have here? Make your move green. Yeah, some of you need to like make that move because um, you're going to have this like passionate kind of energy come in. See these this couple, it's like, and this is all like, look at their faces. I'm channeling the, the, the characters here and they just look so passionate. And so it's like when you have that green light, just go for it. Like just give that person your phone number even. And I don't want to say that you're not going to get rejected. I don't know. You know, like it could. But I'm just saying for some of you, it's like it is it's for some of you, it is going to be the right person. You know what I mean? Like you're going to have that feeling. I think for a lot of you, though, it's like they're going to they're going to know it, too. Like it's going to be like mutual. Like they're they're going to want to, you know, drop whatever they're doing and just, you know, focus on you. For some of you, your person might be, you know, expecting this connection. They might be kind of aware of this too. Like you guys are manifesting each other. Yeah, it's like there's a little nervousness at first because some of you, it's almost like you, like you know this is coming in, you feel it, but when you're actually in that energy, you're going to be like, is this real? Like, is this really happening? <laughs> like, it's almost like a dream right now. But then when you actually have it, you're going to be like, oh, wow, like this, this, this is no joke. <laughs> um, so it's like get in this, this vulnerable kind of energy, you know? And like I said, if this is your story and you want a private reading, my email is right below. Um, any donations are also appreciated. And yeah, please subscribe if it resonates. So the feelings are going to be mutual. So you're going to know the energy difference with this person, like their body language. Like you really got to tune into your body because I feel like in the past, maybe you didn't or maybe you like ignored it. Like your your spirit guides are screaming about screaming at you about like toxic exes or like your body felt tense, but you just you you loved them so much that it's like you couldn't you just ignored that you're like okay we'll get through it like you just kind of you know tried to put your spirit guides to the side but it's like now you're more intuitive and you've ascended so much that it's like you can't ignore your intuition anymore but you're gonna you're gonna in retrospect you're gonna look back and you're gonna notice the energy difference between this this new love and your exes like you're gonna feel that difference like your body is gonna feel like like open, like passionate, vulnerable. The sex is going to be different. It's going to be, you know, like if it's been hard for you, sorry, for, sorry to get into it, but if it's been hard for you to get off, like it's not going to be difficult to get off with this person because your, your body is going to trust them. Like you're going to feel, you know what I mean? Like you're going to, you're going to feel open with them. You're going to feel close to them. You're going to feel that sense of security. Their body language is going to be different. Their, the way they talk, the way they, the way you guys interact, it's going to be, there's just going to be like this, this epiphany when you guys are talking where you're like, wow, this is different. I haven't had a conversation like this before. I haven't, you know what I mean? Like usually I can't have weird, silly conversations like this, but with, with this person you can, or like, usually I don't talk about, 
things this deeply. Usually I hide things, but wow, like I just met you a couple days ago and I'm telling you all this stuff about me. Wow. Like that kind of energy where you're just, you're going to notice, you're going to find yourself in the moment and having these little epiphanies like, wow, like that really is like different, like did not expect that. And can you guys let me know too, because I mean, I don't want to keep telling the same story because some of you are probably already past this and you've already found that new person. So I hate to like be repeating the story, but I want to make sure everyone's caught up. You know what I mean? I don't want to move on to the next. Um, I know some of you have already gone through this. Some of you have already gone through this in the last like month or two and you've already met this person and you're good now. Um, so I don't want to leave you guys stuck in this energy, but I think there's also people in this energy group that are just like a month or so behind you and they're catching up and they are about to meet this person, but they haven't yet. So, so yeah, just let me know where you guys are. Like, do you, do you feel this? Like, do you know who this person is? Have you met them yet? Are you dating them? Like, what's it like? Just, just anything you guys can tell me, um, just to help you guys, just to help me with your readings, you know, cause it really helps me when I hear from you guys to know what you guys want. Um, want to hear about I'm also thinking about making a patreon if there's any interest in that let me know because I'm getting people saying like they want you know to know about the new person they want to know about the old person they want to know about this or that and it's like there's mixed messages there so I'm kind of thinking about doing a patreon so I can get you know can address everything for people and I'd also be doing third party readings on there and um, teaching spell work, dream interpretation, things of that nature, more in-depth readings. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please let me know as well. Um, so I'm thinking about getting that set up within the next month or two here. Yeah, and you guys are both ending a pattern or cycle because I think it's going to be really different for you and it's also going to be really different for them. They're going to be like, this is like a dream. This is like something... Like you guys have both felt so alone and then it's like overnight you're you're just out of this stagnant energy and you have like traveling, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, um, possibly like just, just so much good energy that like you like you didn't fully expect it. Like you hoped for it, but it's like I don't know. It's just a lot of good energy here. Um you know, getting out of loneliness too. And you're doing it because you're, you've gotten to a point where you're okay being alone for the most part. Like you're getting to a point where you're just like living your best life. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's like, you're focusing on yourself. And so you're like manifesting love now. It's like, it has room to come. You, you, you gave up the control issues and you let your spirit guides take control of this. And since you've done that, it's, it's giving your spirit guides this room to bring this love into you. Whereas before it was harder because you were trying to control every little detail and you were like, where's my person? Where's my person? And it's like, you're blocking and sabotaging yourself. And now you're opening yourself up. Like you're just, you know, in this better energy here. And so you guys are both ending these patterns and cycles. And this, this connection is going to be just as amazing and different for you as it is for them. Like they're going to be experiencing new things they haven't experienced before with you. So it's a really beautiful, um, potential life partner connection here. Anyway, like I said, if this resonates, please subscribe and email me if you want a reading. Thanks for watching.